conformally mapping. A mapping W equal to F of Z is called conformal if it preserves angle between oriented curves in magnitude as well as in as well in sense. That is, if the angle alpha 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 uh, zero less than or equal alpha less than or equal to pi between two intersecting curves C1 and C2. So if C1 and C2 be any uh, curves, intersecting curves intersect at the point Z0, then the angle alpha is the angle between their oriented tangents at that intersecting point Z0. So, and the conformality means the image C1 star and C2 star of C1 and C2 respectively. So image of C1 is equal to C2 and image of C2 equal to C2 star. Image of C1 is equal to C1 star. Image of C2 is equal to C2 star respectively. If these curves preserves, if the function any mapping which preserves angle between these two curves then this mapping is called conformal mapping those uh, mappings are called conformal mapping so if f of z is analytic function if f of z is an analytic function then the mapping is conformal except at critical points so a function is uh, a point is it not is said to be critical point if f dash derivative of the function at that point is at not equal to zero so except at critical points the functions are confirmed so if f of z is analytic function is analytic functions they are always conformal except at the critical points Now the mapping W equal to Z square. So let Z is equal to X plus IY and W is equal to F of Z be the mapping which is equal to U plus IV where U and V are functions of X and Y. Now given that the function F of Z the mapping is equal to z square now let us uh, consider the vertical line x equal to c now I, our aim is to find the image of x equal to c using the mapping w equal to z square so in z plane if the image of x is equal to c so we are going to draw the graph of x equal to c after mapping the line x equal to c by using the mapping w equal to z square. Now put x equal to c in this equation. So before that we, we will uh, find the values of u and v by substituting z is equal to x plus iv in this equation. That is f of z is equal to z square x plus iy the whole square equal to x square minus y square plus 2ixy where u is equal to x square minus y square and v is equal to 2xy so real part of the function f of z is equal to x square minus y square and imaginary part is equal to 2xy now put x equal to c in this equation u becomes c square minus y square and v is equal to 2cy now y square is equal to c square minus u and v square is equal to square both sides v square is equal to 4 into c square 
minus uh, c square into y square. Now v square is equal to 4 into c square minus y square. So I will be replacing y square is equal to c square minus u square, c square minus u in this equation. So I will get v square equal to 4 into c square into c square minus u. So which represents a parabola open to the left side so image of x is equal to c suppose x is equal to c you see this is your x equal to c any any arbitrary number real value x equal to c the image under the mapping w equal to z square of this straight line x equal to c which is vertical to the uh, vertical line so this is your w plane Let's see w plane so image of x equal to c is a parabola which is left opened 4 into so this is the parabola 4 into c square into c square minus u similarly we can find the image of horizontal lines y equal to k so let's have a look horizontal line y equal to k k be any constant so just substitute the values u is equal to x square minus k square u is equal to x square minus k square since we have uh, taken y is equal to k and v is equal to 2 into x into y y is equal to k so 2 x into k now x square is equal to u minus u plus k square and square both side v square is equal to 4 into x square into k square now v square is equal to 4 into x square so x square i can replace with u plus k square so 4k square into so v square become 4 into k square into k square plus u x square is equal to k square plus u so which is a parabola open to the a right side a right side open to the right side so if it's your z plane say z plane and y is equal to any constant k image of this line under the mapping z square is a parabola which is right opened in the w plane so that is the line x equal to c maps to v square is equal to 4 into c square into c square minus u a parabola open to the left and y equal to k any other constant which is mapped onto v square is equal to 4k square into k square plus u so there is a parabola which is open to the right side so for example x equal to 1 under this mapping f of z is equal to z square the line x equal to 1 maps to a parabola x equal to 1 and x equal to 3 by 2 so this is your parabola x equal to 3 by 2 we just replace c is equal to 3 by 2 here so we will get v square is equal to 4 into 3 by 2 into 3 by 2 the whole square minus u that is the 
graph of the corresponding image of x is equal to 3 by 2 under the mapping f of z is equal to z square and the image of x equal to 2 is equal to x equal to 2. So this is the parabola x equal to 2. That is 4 into 2 square into 2 square minus u. Similarly, y equal to 1. So I can draw y equal to 1. y equal to 1 maps to this one this is your graph y equal to 1 this one there is a parabola which is open to the right side so put just replace k is equal to 1 here you'll get a parabola v square is equal to 4 into 1 into 1 plus u that is 4 into 1 plus u it is a parabola which is open to the right. Similarly, you can find the uh, any image of any line which is uh, parallel to the x-axis or horizontal lines. In particular, the line x equal to 0 under the mapping f of z equal to z square mapped onto v equal to 0 and u is equal to minus v squared. So as you can see in this u equal to, so vertical line x equal to c, then we'll get u is equal to c square minus y square or v is equal to, and v is equal to 2cy. Now x equal to zero means, put c equal to zero here, that is u is equal to minus v square and v equal to zero. Now x equal to zero maps to minus v square u equal to minus v square and v is equal to zero that is x equal to zero mapped to onto v equal to zero and u equal to minus v square the negative u axis that is this is always negative always uh, less than zero that is uh, the x the line x equal to zero mapped onto negative u axis in the w plane Similarly, the line y equal to 0 mapped onto v equal to 0 and u equal to x square, which is always positive. Like similarly, we just replace x equal to y equal to 0. So y equal to 0 implies that we'll get u is equal to x square and v is equal to 0. That is positive u axis positive u axis now consider the polar form of this uh, mapping f of z is equal to z square now let us consider the polar form z is equal to r e raised to i theta r e raised to i theta and w is equal to so in w let it be capital r into e raised to i phi w is equal to z square we know that w is equal to z square that is the mapping that is in w plane capital r into e raised to i phi that is the image of r e raised to i theta under the mapping w is equal to z square that is z square r square into e raised to i theta the whole square e raised to i theta into whole square is equal to capital r into e raised to i phi which implies that capital R square is equal to small r square and phi is equal to 2 theta. So that is uh, here. The mapping, the line, this line, say if it is of radius r is equal to say 2 and angle pi by 4 so this line maps to under the mapping z square this line is maps to r become capital r square 
that is capital R is equal to small r square. So capital R is the radius in the W plane. R square, so that is four, two square is equal to four, and theta becomes phi is equal to two theta. So angle doubled. That is two into pi by four, that is pi by two. So pi by two means it's here. So the graph is here. So for example, modulus of z less than or equal to pi by two and theta less than uh, pi by six less than or equal to theta less than or equal to pi by three is mapped on to the region where capital W that is the radius radius of this uh, image of the line or image of this line mode z is equal to one so it becomes capital R is equal to R square square of 3 by 2 that is equal to 9 by 6 and so all the points between these two circles mode z is mode w is equal to 9 by 4 and mode z equal to 1 and theta becomes pi by 6 become 2 into pi by 6 that is 3 pi pi by 3 and pi by 3 become 2 pi by 3 2 into just multiply this uh, theta with 2 so this is the image of this function under the mapping f of z is equal to z square. See as you can see in this graph, mod z less than or equal to uh, one less than or equal to mod z less than or equal to pi by two. So one, uh, three, three by two, three by two. So and theta is equal to pi by 6 and pi by 3 mapped on to image of this shaded region is equal to w equal to 1 the circle w is equal to 1 and w is equal to 9 by 4 w is equal to 9 by 4 somewhere here and theta is equal to theta between pi by 3 and 2 pi by 3 so this is pi by 3 and 2 pi by 3 so the shaded region is the image of this shaded region under the mapping f of z is equal to z squared.